What's up, Vikes? I'm Allie. I'm Mike, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVT. The COVID vaccine is almost available for everybody. Here's some more information. With COVID-19 causing panic around the world for many months, there is finally hope for us to see the end of this pandemic in the foreseeable future. A few different COVID-19 vaccines, with the top ones being from Pfizer and Moderna, have now been approved for distribution and use on the public. On December 14th, Sandra Lindsay, who is an ICU nurse, was among the first people in America to get the COVID-19 vaccine. After she received it, she said she felt great. Since then, many other people have also received the COVID-19 vaccine, and many will continue to receive it. For now, the vaccine is being treated to people who need it the most, such as medical workers, but as time goes on, it will slowly be distributed to more and more of the public, and by some time in 2021, it should be available to many people within the general public, such as us. The COVID-19 vaccine will also be given in two different doses rather than one. While the news of the vaccine is great, some people question if the vaccine is safe, especially after a video began circulating around of a nurse who received the vaccine and then ended up fainting shortly after on national television. Oh, I'm sorry. According to her, though, she faints often, and it's not uncommon for her. Some possible side effects of the vaccine can include things such as a headache, fever, fatigue, or sore arms, which are common side effects for many other vaccines. I hope this new vaccine will be out for everyone soon, and hopefully an ending to this worldwide pandemic will be seen in the future. Until then, stay safe and make sure to wear your mask. Now, back to your anchors. Now, on to the rest of announcements. Finals start next week. On Monday, you will take your odd class final, and Tuesday will be for even classes. On January 20th, the final Washburn Tech entrance exam will be held. Sign up with your counselor by next Wednesday and be ready to provide your own transportation. Harvesters needs volunteers this Monday. The time will be from 3.30 to 5. Check Schoology for more information. Now, over to Zoe with the weather. Good afternoon, Vikings. All the precipitation has officially moved out of the area, and we are now just going to be having cloudy skies. Today is National Bubble Bath Day, a perfect way to end the long work week. Today is going to be about the same as we were the past couple of days, with our highs being up in the 30s, and us not getting very warm, and it is going to be cloudy, so it will feel a bit colder than the temperature. For your SVTV 7-day forecast, we are going to be in the 30s for the next couple of days, and then we are going to climb clear back up into the 50s by next week. Now back to your anchor. Thanks, Zoe. We have another Would You Rather segment. Let's check it out. We asked people Would You Rather questions again. Let's go see what they said this time. Cook like cook. a gourmet chef. Sing like an opera star. I'm already a decent cook. Like, I haven't given anybody uh, food poisoning for a while. Speak every language. Talk to animals, I guess. Talk to animals. Talk to animals, yeah. I would rather be able to speak every language. Favorite movie star, for sure. Movie Athlete. star. Timothy Chalamet, bro. Oh, okay. Teleport. Fly. Boat. Teleport. Fly. You can see the world better. Probably teleport. Teleport, definitely. Time travel. Time Wait, travel. No, freeze time. For sure. Time travel. Time travel. I would rather go to the moon. Probably Mars. The moon. The moon. Mars. The moon. Movie star. <laughs> President of the United States. Joe would Biden. Joe Biden. It depends on who's president. Um, I would rather meet a movie star. Specifically Paul Rudd. 
A movie star. A movie star. Breathe underwater. underwater. Fly. Fly. Breathe underwater. No, definitely fly. X ray vision. Magnified hearing. Magnified hearing. Magnifying. What is that? Hearing. You what can hear that? really well like a dog. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'll do that. Magnified hearing. Make sure to check back for part four. That's all we have for today. Thanks. Have a great weekend.